So hello everyone, my name is Kunal and today we are going to take a look at ThoughtSpot which is a buy tool. Uh, it is it is it has been recently launched and the main motto or the idea behind the tool is AI and search driven analytics, right? So in Tableau or Power BI, uh, we completely rely on the business analyst. So we, we ask for uh, some kind of visualization. So that is the database we want to know some answers we ask the business analyst to make uh, a dashboard they give us a dashboard right and if we want a little change in the dashboard we again have to contact the business analyst and it takes time uh, even if we want to find an answer which is simple like uh, it takes like uh, one that one chart it goes through a sprint or a pipeline and it takes at least like three four days whatever the sprint uh, timing is so uh, ThoughtSpot empowers business users to uh, find insights into the data themselves and how using search and AI driven analytics, right? So this is the basic idea behind the tool. So let us look at the main features of ThoughtSpot and how it works basically give you a glimpse of the tool and uh, in in uh, later tutorials we're gonna have a deeper dive into the tool so this is the main screen of the of the tool here we have home answers pin boards spot iq data develop and if you want more theoretical knowledge of the whole tool and everything i'll provide this link this is the the bible of the whole tool basically it has everything for business user for business analysts for the developers how you can embed uh, this tool into your app and everything but today we're going to take a look at the working of the tool basically so uh, first you select your data uh, data source so my data source is sample superstore are, uh, are ready to go database for tableau power bi and everything it is it is very common basically so what uh, so uh, Suppose I want insights into this data, like I want the sales of category, furniture category, right? So I'll just type sales and it'll, it'll just pop in right there. Sales of category, okay, of category um, where date was 2016, for the year 2016, so order, date, 2016 and you press go and there you have it so you'll have everything for uh, and you can change the visualization from here as well like you can go for a stacked column okay so now we are seeing that furniture was good in this this part of the year and technology was good over here so basically you can predict like what would be the uh, you can visualize everything right so this is the main uh, funda behind the tool you can search your data you can visualize it and you don't need much help from business analysts basically the thought spot empowers business user rather than relying on business analysts so it is very easy to use you just type in something you change into your uh, desired uh, charts you want suppose you want a stacked area chart which is probably more suitable for this kind of visualization you can even uh, change the time bucket you want monthly okay we get monthly so this is it you can just uh, you can pin this into your uh, pin board superstore pin board we go to the pin board and this we go to pin board and these pin boards are shareable so i have total sales total profit total quantity this is the quarter wise sales how we did this is the state state wise sales this is the growth of profit by order date and and these pin boards are shareable so you can share it with anyone your colleague your everything so here the the main uh, idea is easy to use right you, everything is easy to use so 
uh, let us let us take one example uh, of the sample superstore so uh, let us take sales sales and profit profit let us remove and sales profit and quantity uh, 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 of subcategory how 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 we did for the subcategories and so by default it gives you a which is more suitable so we'll take the stack column because it's easy to easy to understand so these are the sales profit quantity maybe we can take a look at stacked area yeah i think this is better but still the quantity is very less compared to sales so it is going to be like that only so we just close it and we can also take a look into the tabular tabular manner so these are the sales these are the subcategories how we did sales profit quantity we can pin this as well so store pin board pin boards are like dashboards and answers these are this was the answer we searched something and we got something so it was an answer right and we can just pin that into the pin board and and there we have it yes so uh, as you can see uh, everything is very easy in thoughtspot uh, this was just a brief intro of what what thoughtspot does and how uh, how it does uh, in order to uh, get more knowledge into this tool stay tuned for another tutorial thanks everyone bye bye